Hey, what's up guys? It's Marf and welcome back to another Asphalt Season Update Patch Notes video. Today we'll be taking a look at the newly released patch notes for the European Season Update. The current Italian Season Update is slowly coming to a close and they finally released the patch notes and what type of season will be coming in the next update. And so today we're going to be going over all of the information for that update if you want to know every little tiny detail i'll put a link to the notes in the comments or in the description but without further ado let's go over all of the new cars because there is a ton of new cars and some other things that i would like to talk about so let's just jump right into it so the first two new cars are both b class cars and they seem to be near the top mid range and again i'm going just kind of off the base statistics and the rank um, of course these cars could be drastically different at their max rank so there's no real way to tell but anyway the first car we have here is a legendary volkswagen w12 coupe now this is a pretty old car but a pretty legendary car we've seen it in previous asphalt games most notably its addition to asphalt 8 airborne and this is going to be like i said a b class car in this game the top speed is probably going to be one of the main highlights of this car but Personally, I would just like to say I really, really love the decal that they put for this car. I love the combination of orange and blue. And let's jump into the next car. This is the Zenvo TSR S. And this is a really, really wacky car and pretty unique because if you'll notice, it has a giant, massive wing on the back. And you might be thinking to yourself, okay, cool, it's another Zenvo. We already have one of those, but this one just has a giant wing for some reason and it's lopsided. Well, it's lopsided because the real life version of this car can actually change that spoiler both directions, you know, to make it go each side depending on which way you turn. Now, in other games such as Forza Horizon 4, they have that functionality. I'm not sure if that functionality will be coming to Asphalt 9. You can see in the pictures they provide that it's tilted kind of to the right. So I'm hoping that that functionality is in the game because otherwise I don't really see too much uh, of a reason to add this car to the game. But if that giant wing functionality is in the game that's going to be pretty fun to mess around with but anyway like i said it's a b-class car around the mid tier and acceleration looks like to be this car is a big deal at the base acceleration of 74 now this car just like the last one does require a key but as you can see with the decal it does have a grand prix decal now we're going to be talking about all the events coming in this update after we go over some of the uh cars and features so we'll get into that a bit later so the next car in this update seems to be the only s-class car of course if there are any other hidden cars will know about that after the update drops but like i said probably the only s class car but it is the very highly requested aston martin valkyrie now this is the sort of older brother to the valhalla that's already in the game which is the um, one of the highest a class cars now this s class car going again based just off of the rank and the stats provided in the picture seems to be probably in the mid to high tier of s class it doesn't seem like it's going to be a king because it doesn't start at that higher uh, base rank but it does seem like it's going to be pretty darn competitive luckily this does not have a key and again we'll talk about the events later on in the video and the decal i do have to say i think looks pretty darn cool as well but again this is the s class car for this update not too much of a king but it does look like it's going to perform pretty well next up we have a c class car and this is another grand prix car this is the renault rs01 another car that we've seen previously in other games such as asphalt 8 now this looks like to be at the fairly high end of c class not anything crazy like that but it does seem to have a pretty okay starting rank and um, so we're just gonna have to see again most of this is going to just depend on um, what the final ranks of these cars are because they could have a situation where they start very very low or very very high but then their max rank is a bit different than what we are expecting so we'll just have to wait and see this car looks like it's going to start around where the acura nsx gt3 evo kind of is it has a very similar starting rank the acura is at a 2278 and this car is at a 2262 so i think they're going to be pretty close to each other um, but this is a pretty cool car again it's uh, a pretty well-known car as it was in previous games as far as i remember but um yeah let's move on to the legend pass early access cars now again this is the legend pass cars they say that every player in the game will have a chance of unlocking these cars in the future but 
we haven't really seen that come to fruition with previous cars that were Legend Pass exclusives or you needed the Legend Pass to unlock the events such as the Aspark Alf. So again, take this with a bit of a grain of salt. But anyway, let's go on to the car itself. This is the Aston Martin Victor. Now, from what I've learned about this car doing research for the video, it is a combination of the legendary Aston Martin 177 and the Aston Martin Vulcan that is already uh, in Asphalt 9, which is the starting A-Class car. So this is going to be an A-Class car, and from the looks of it, with its starting rank uh, at 3,118, that's pretty darn close to the top end of A-Class. And what that means is it could be the most powerful Legend Pass car we've seen yet, and like I said, they do say that every car or every player, sorry, in the game will have a chance of unlocking these. But again, we don't really know. They don't they don't say any specific details. But anyway, um, this car, I think, looks pretty darn good. It's sort of a retro styled car, which I kind of like. And something else I wanted to mention in regards to the Legend Pass is that the car hunt for this Legend Pass season is going to be the Apollo IE. So now that we've covered all of the cars, let's go over some of the new features and the new events that will be in the season update. Now, firstly, we have, like always, a new career season. This is going to appear in your career mode, and most likely you'll need some of the cars from this update in order to complete it, but it's just a nice single player addition that will also get you probably some nice rewards as well. But next, I want to mention they are adding a new game mode. You can see the logo here. They are calling it Nitro Pollution. They say it's going to be in one of five daily events running throughout the update with each event offering different locations to try the mode with. Now, they don't offer any other details, but I think it's pretty obvious from the logo and the styling. It could be pretty similar or the same as Infected from Asphalt 8 and Asphalt Extreme. Now again, we don't know as they don't provide any other details, but I think that would be a great concept to bring back to Asphalt 9. And honestly, just in general, I think we have needed a new game mode for a very, very long time. So it's really nice to see that they are finally adding one. All right, so now let's go over all of the events that are going to be coming in this update. There are a ton of cars, so there are going to be lots of events for this season. So firstly, let's talk about the Grand Prix. The cars coming for the Grand Prix in this update are going to be the Zenvo TSRS and the Renault RS01. They're going to have traditional Grand Prix events because, as mentioned in previous videos, they are sort of breaking up the pre-events as you will into three different segments. They're going to have the Grand Prix, the Epic Prix, and the Elite Prix. Now, the difference is that the Grand Prix is going to be the traditional Grand Prix we know where you can get blueprints and the key for the featured car. The Elite Prix is going to feature blueprints for the specific car, and the Epic Prix is going to feature epic import parts for that car. Now, in this update or season, there is going to be an Epic Prix, so that's for the epic import parts for the Genti Aquilon. So that's one of the high-end A-Class cars that was introduced quite a while ago, um, but it'll be, it's going to be a nice opportunity to get some epic import parts for that car. Now, in terms of traditional special event for this update, there are going to be traditional special events for the Aston Martin Valkyrie and the Volkswagen W12 Coupe. Now, for the W12 Coupe, as mentioned previously, that car does have a key. Now, they mentioned that you can only get the key for this car by completing the event 100%. So, this is going to feature similarly to the SSC Tuatara, where you need to get a certain amount of conditions, this one being, you know, 100% of those conditions, in order to unlock the key. Now, again, they could introduce key packs, but at least for now, the only way to get the key for the W12 Coupe is by completing the special event 100%. Now, in terms of car hunts, we're getting one for the Bentley Continental GT3. That is the D-Class car that was so prominently uh, called a boat because of its terrible handling. And so that is going to be a car hunt uh, for this season. And I'm sure they were going to be introducing way more car hunts as they do them pretty much every week now. But this event will have a key as a milestone award, similarly to the previous 599XX Evo car hunt. They are also going to be having finally some more unleashed events and um, they don't specify what cars they will be, but they say there are going to be two unleashed events for two amazing cars that will make a lot of players happy. So hopefully they are some returning kings or something like that. But two unleashed events is nice to see. And they say 
that the BXR Bailey Blade GT1 will have a legendary weekend event as well, which is pretty nice. Now, that is pretty much it for all of the major changes. There are some other notes, and something I wanted to mention is that unfortunately they say the Gameloft forums are going to be closing down shortly, which is really sad to see. I had a lot of fun on the Gameloft forums back in the day when games were soft launching and we would have some awesome discussions with moderators and developers, and it's sad to see that go, but pretty much the discords for each specific game has replaced that need for a forum, so I understand why, but it's just kind of uh, disappointing to see leave. But anyway, guys, that is the European season update. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Which car are you most excited for? And I will see you guys in the next video.